this is the thing that I find, you know, really scary is that, you know, we, we have kind of relegated our democracy to Mark Zuckerberg. Um, and I find that very terrifying. But short, medium, long term. And of course, my in invested interest is in the short term because I could go to jail if we don't find the right solutions for it. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I unfortunately, I, I don't, I don't think that there don't are short-term that. solutions because we have a, it's a, it's a, it's an infrastructure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine if you had a pharmaceutical company regulated like a tech company, where you don't actually have to do any kind of trials, you don't have to prove safety of your systems, yeah. you can just like experiment, and when something goes wrong, you can say, oh, sorry, like. Pharma pharmaceutical business is complicated, you know, biology is complicated, or an airline going, you know, sorry, our plane crashed, it's hard to make things fly that are like really heavy, and sometimes, you know, <laughs> it happens. But when, when you look at like the reaction that Facebook has, yeah. you know, whether it was in Myanmar, in the Philippines, in New Zealand, Sri Lanka, New Sri Lanka, Zealand. like the list goes on, and I question, why is it that you're allowed to experiment on societies, and when real people like get killed. There are no actual consequences. Yes, agree. Uh, they've gotten away with impunity so far, also because old power looked away. They abdicated responsibility to the young guys who know what they're doing. They invited people to their house and they gave everyone guns and said, it's the wild, wild west. When you're playing football, you know, that's the beauty of football. It's kind of, if you're talented, you're in. Um, and you don't think about, you don't have to think about identity until um, you get a bit older and you realize if you're playing badly, that's when media starts saying, oh, Nigerian born, and they start, you become the other. So when you do well, you're British. Yeah, when, when you, you do don't, well, you're, you're the Nigerian. They love when you're not doing so well, you kind of, and that's the kind of dark side of, of sport. And, and it's, it's not just exclusive to me, it's men too. You know, Meza Ozil for Arsenal's famously spoken about it, you know. And he said, when I'm winning World Cups, I'm German. When we lose and we do very badly, I'm Turkish. I used to think of journalists like, you know, like lawyers. And I think the media these days have just become so desperate and so kind of base in the profession that we're now perpetuating a lot of, you know, the problem. I think there's a lot of false equivalence. And what I mean by that is this idea that if you have somebody like me who talks about anti-racism, about how to combat and fight racism, there's this idea that you need to balance me out with a racist. Racism's not an opinion. Right. Racism is an ideology that's fundamentally at odds with our democratic values. Right. But I fear it's becoming normalized by a, a, an ignorance at best, and at worst, a kind of malicious attempt to really debase the narrative to get more views and more clicks. If, if you obey the market for 30 years and you begin to worship it and believe it has power over your life, then it fails, you know, the machine blows up in 2008, it's a logical thing for people to say, what else is there who I can obey? Uh, and I, for me, that's the, that's the deep thing. So for me, solidarity um, can go two ways. The purpose of a tyrant, right, is to make anything else unimaginable. The first dictatorship is the dictatorship in your mind that makes a different sort of rule, something unthinkable. And what art does is it breaks you out of that mental prison. Art lets you think that there is another way that people could live, that they could be, that they could interact in another sort of country that they could be in. And it doesn't have to be political art to do that. It doesn't have to be propagandistic. It doesn't have to be set, written by the same type of people or set in the same type of country. But just by virtue of being good art, it makes you imagine other possibilities. And that, that imagining of other possibilities, that is what tyrants and conquerors fear.